and welcome back to Fox 10 News at 4. According to the National Psoriasis Foundation, more than 8 million Americans have this itchy skin condition. It creates red and scaly patches on the skin. Treatment can involve a topical cream. A longtime local dermatologist is using some new treatments for the condition, though. Dr. Fred Bodie is in the studio to talk more about it. And just quickly, I want to talk about what causes this condition. Psoriasis is somewhat genetically inherited. It could also occur due to a, uh, immunologic changes in the body. It's a reaction of the immune system to stimuli such as bacteria. Mm. Uh, sometimes you mention foods, I think too much alcohol. The problem with psoriasis, it's such a devastating disease that it mm -hmm. creates all kind of secondary things like diabetes, weight gain, and things like that. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Most people just talk about how uncomfortable it is or how they don't like how it looks, but I didn't know about the internal problems it can cause. But it does that because imagine if this was all over your body you wouldn't want to go out dressed in shorts and you want to even though sunlight is helpful to you mm -hmm. when you have psoriasis the problem is nobody wants to go out so they get depressed they stay inside and uh, psoriasis can really be a real downer for people that have it. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of treatments topical creams that's just one of them but you're using some new things as well. Right the new just it's made this treatment of psoriasis so wonderful is people that have psoriasis over just over 10 percent of their body that's all it takes mm -hmm. and they're recalcitrant to other therapies we can use these things called biologics and these are are, are very expensive medicines made by many different drug companies mm. and it, it actually just makes a, a person go to zero psoriasis. Oh, wow. The problem is it's expensive, the problem is you have to keep taking it, but it really works. And one other thing is 20% of the people that have psoriasis can get psoriatic arthritis mm -hmm. and that can be quite destructive of your joints. Mm -hmm. So these biological biologics, if you get on them early enough, it will stop that so your joints don't destroy themselves. Mm -hmm. Typically, like who are we talking to here? Are we talking to people who already have it or who don't know that they have it? I think people, most people know, but if yeah. you have a rash uh, uh, over 10% of your body, well, even if you have a rash on your elbows and knees, mm -hmm. uh, itchy, scaly, silvery scale rash, you ought to go see a dermatologist and see there are a lot of topicals. There's a brand new one that works really well. It's a combination of a, a halbetazole and tetrazine, which if you're not pregnant, it's really good. It, you can use it for four weeks and the staying power, once you stop, is it'll stay for several months. Does it ever go away? I don't think psoriasis ever really goes away. I think there have been remissions. I've seen people who have gone into remission. That's mm -hmm. unusual. We don't really understand that. But it can be certainly reignited by one little cut or scratch and an infection mm -hmm. with, with a staph or strep or something like that. All right. So the best advice is see an expert. That's correct. Okay. Well, thank you, Dr. You're Bodhi, welcome. for coming Good to see in. You. Nice. We'll be sure to get this posted on our YouTube page so you can, um, you know, share it with someone you know. Look for it shortly and be sure to subscribe.